I thought we wanted to shoot her. I thought that's who we wanted to shoot. Ah, uh, the world of light guns. In this video, we have the super and the extreme IR sensors for the aim track light gun as well as other light guns on the market. And in this video, we're gonna compare the stock IR sensor with the super and the extreme. We're gonna do some videos on my 27 inch monitor right here. Just, you know, trying the old light bar versus new, what my thoughts were. And then let's go up to a 75 inch larger display. And if you're wondering, yes, these new sensors claim better tracking, better distance, either closer and farther away from your devices. So let's see if these claims make the light gun experience even better and more accurate is which everyone wants. <laughs> All right, this is the normal light bar that comes with your aim track light gun. Great for, you know, a, a smaller monitor. But when you get into big TVs, you need to be further back, and that's just not going to cut it anymore. Arcadeguns.com sent me their super light gun bar. Wow, this is pretty hardcore. Pretty cool, right? Until they were like, it's not cool enough. Let's make something called the extreme these the the reason why you you want this one is one these leds are extra high quality leds they can handle over voltage things like that they're really well made this can go up to a hundred inch screen tv it has two power ports all right right here you have a toggle switch you have super and you have regular so regular allows you from sizes 10 inches up to 40 inch screens possibly larger, and um, you could get right up close to it. The super settings worth be best with screen sizes 32 inches up to 100 inches, possibly larger. Technically, you're buying two light bars in one because it has those two modes. So here it is on my smaller screen downstairs, and it's working great. I actually ended up almost beating this entire game when I was making this video. Um, I was, per I don't know, maybe I was just on a, on a good day or the light gun was actually making me better. I'd like to think the light gun was making me better. Here's the super as well. I had to stand much farther back to get the super to work. That's why the extreme is nice because it has that regular mode and then the super mode. And the regular mode works good on my smaller TV. So here we go. I'm setting up my Craigslist $50 PC that I've been building for an upcoming build. Got it hooked up to my TV here. And uh, we're gonna start out with the stock bar and let's see what I said about this when I was doing it. So as I get farther back though, see, look at, look at that sensor. It's not liking it at all. Look how far I am. Running out of time! Running out of time! Got one. Got him. Now we're on regular. So we can get really close to the screen here. So much better, especially compared to the stock bar. A lot of people would think, well, I only want this extreme bar if I have a big screen TV, and that's not necessarily the case. I think you'd actually have a slightly better, or if not quite a bit better, gunning experience with this extreme bar, even on a smaller TV. It just is really nice on a big screen TV. I do want to apologize, I don't have that much footage using the just the super sensor bar. Um, I have to say, if you have the money, just go for the extreme. I was not nearly as impressed than I was with the extreme. And with the, the slight price point, I would totally just go straight for the extreme um, if I were you. And now my closing remarks. So in conclusion, 
you have the aim track light gun this one has recoil a lot a lot of fun I have it on my little $50 Craigslist PC if you missed that video. This is running coin ops. Most of the games I played were MAME, but do know that this gun will work for MAME, Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3, uh, some Steam games on PC, um, Nintendo Wii emulator, so all the Wii light gun games are going to work, PlayStation 2 light gun games, and if you've been missing my reviews, I did each one of those emulators to show that I got this working and it's running good. This one has recoil. And one of the things, um, you know, I hear is, you know, if you are just using this on like a 27 inch, 30 inch TV or monitor, which I've been doing in most of my videos, I just use the stock tracking bar and it's plenty fine. Um, however, now I found out about the, both the super IR sensor, remember we did the super, which has these big LEDs at the top, and then the extreme, the newly released extreme. And, um, as far as these two go, if you're just buying it for a big screen TV, go and buy the Super, you might save a couple bucks. But if you have the money, there's no doubt in my mind, I had a way easier plug and play experience with this. I love that you can set it to Super or regular. So you can use this on your 30 inch monitor, 27 inch monitor, whatever you have in your gaming room, and then you can bring it to your main uh, you know, uh, maybe you have a living room, whatever, game room, uh, or a larger screen TV, or you're having a party or something and you want to have multiple people over. This thing, up to eight players, remember only three players are in most games, but still, the idea is there that when they built this thing, it was extreme. We don't want to have limitations, we want to build a high quality product. Now you might be wondering, it looks kind of bare bones, does it have a case? Supposedly they're working on a case, it's not yet released yet, it's like an extra seven or eight dollars, and so if you want to encase this in a little black plastic case, uh, you could do that. Myself, it looks kind of cool, you know, it looks like a nice LED strip, that you've been, you know, you see when you buy those LED lights. And again, remember it has two different power sources so you can route the cables properly. But I have to say, light guns on this big screen TV, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. So highly recommended there. Um, so this one gets two thumbs up, the extreme. Go for this one. This one is good, it's better than the original if you have the money, but IR extreme, this is, this is what I'm talking about. So when you start getting into light guns, it gets a little expensive. You need, if you buy the recoil version, then you gotta buy the power supply, then you gotta buy this. But I have to say, those would be my three biggest purchases if I wanted to go all out. If I didn't want to go all out, I'd save some money not buying the recoil version of the gun because that'll save you like 40 or $50 between the power supply and buying the recoil gun itself. Um, and then spend the extra money on this. If you got a bunch of cash laying around and you want you know, that recoil experience, then make sure you still have enough money for this, grab that recoil gun, and you're doing well. Thank you again to ArcadeGuns.com. They sent me both of these review units free of charge. Uh, I do have to say though, I'm keeping them. I'm gonna not only use them here on the big screen TV, I will be using it on my smaller screen as well. I saw an improvement in both areas. I'm very happy with this product and I can highly recommend it. Um, with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So I left this footage in. This was using the extreme light gun sensor with my aim track on my 27 inch uh, monitor here. And uh, I just had so much fun playing these games. I played for a while. So I left this footage in here. If you wanted to see the accuracy, see how I was playing. Uh, this new extreme bar, even on the smaller monitor, gave me a much better playing experience than the regular sensor bar and uh, you know this will give you some extra gameplay to really see the monitor versus my gun movement and make you know the decision for yourself
Sage of Rodriguez. She's inside. Let's eat their lunch. I thought we wanted to shoot her. I thought that's who we wanted to shoot. What? Can you kill the helicopter? How are you supposed to kill the helicopter? Bring it on, baby. That was a good one. If you made it this far and you're wondering what the hell is going on, I actually start my closing remarks around five minutes in this video, but I left in a ton of light gun footage for people's resources and to check it out for themselves. So don't forget to like and subscribe though.